Out is brought to you by the Smile Center in a set for three. Three minute rounds in the 195 pound catch weight division. And when the bell rings, the referee in charge of the action. The third man in the cage will be Jason Wilkerson. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he wears the red and black trunks. At 5 feet 11 inches, he weighed in at 195 pounds. A freestyle fighter, making his MMA debut, representing Team Redemption and Off the Chain MMA, and fighting out of Hot Springs, Arkansas, Chris Sorrell! And across the cage, his adversary fighting out of the red corner. He wears the gray trunks with the red trim. At 5 feet 10 inches, he weighed in at 195 pounds. A wrestler also making his MMA debut. Representing Memphis Judo and Jiu Jitsu. And fighting out of Cordova, Tennessee, Jeff Lamar. Final instructions now from our third man in the cage, Jason Wilkerson. What's interesting is Lamer scheduled this fight with another gym. He was part of another gym, scheduled the fight, then changed over to Memphis Judo and Jiu-Jitsu, and Dave Ferguson said, yes, we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll fight. We'll honor that, yep. But we'll see where you are and how much we have to work on what we have to work specifically after the fight. So at least we'll have some, some tape to be able to look at. Nice big kick. He's inside double unders. Lamer looking for a trip, it looks like. There's a knee from Lamer. Another one to the midsection of Sorrell. Big takedown. Goes the dynamite. What a hit, man. That's two that big boys a, right there. That was a nice takedown by Lamer. I'll tell you what, Sorrell is working some jujitsu magic right there, trying to get that arm bar. Great defense by Jeff Lamer. Lamer got his hand out very quickly. And now some uh, hammer fists. And Sorrell, 33, but strong as an ox. Lamer, a big boy, not too shabby himself. And back in guard. This is exactly where Chris Sorrell wants Jeff Lamer. He doesn't want him postured up, throwing down some big ground to pound on him. Right now, not much Lamer can do. Now he's able to get that left arm free for a second, but then Sorrell, good defense keeping his opponent at bay for the most part. And not much pop from Lamer. Now he got out of it. Now Sorrell's trying a little ground to bound from the back, <laughs> laying on his back. Right now, what, uh, what is Sorrell trying to do here? Uh, Sorrell looks like he's just kind of holding him close. What he needs to be doing is getting one of those hips free and either working that that arm bar that he went for before or the, something to try and go see how he's kind of work, moving up on Lamer. And Lamer needs to sit back and sit on his butt and then try to posture up and throw some ground and pound. He needs to get away from what Chris is doing, holding him close to him. There he goes. Again, Sorrell, though, trying to slip out of it and, and stay at harm's length, and he's doing a pretty good job. Lamer now got his left arm free. Now maybe we'll go for a, a pickup and a slam. We'll see. Here it comes. It's here is going to come some ground and pound, it looks like. Lamer has his knee right on Sorrell's face. That was looked very uncomfortable. Sorrell looked like a pretzel right there. But, again, Lamer's still not able to get, get those arms free enough to, to rain some ground and pound. He's listening to his corner. He's taking instructions. You saw him look over for a second. There you go. There's a couple of pops. Here it comes. Two left-handers. Oh, Now he no. has him in the rear naked. No, no, it's guillotine. Guillotine, excuse Just, me, seconds ago. Right. You are excited. <laughs> he oh. got out of it. Sorrell's head just popped out of it. You I'll tell you what. The popping sound. Oh, man, I'll tell you what. That was real good because Jeff Lamer, you could tell he's pretty experienced even though he doesn't have any fights. He waited to the last 10 seconds to throw a submission on. Why do you wait to the last second? Well, he gave up a great position on top of him to go in a really bad position if it wouldn't work. So he... Tried the guillotine, it didn't work, and then he only had one second with him on top of him. So you put yourself in a situation where if it doesn't work, 
the, the, the time will save you. You're exactly. not going to be, okay. So he was, he went for the submission, but he's saved by the bell. But a lot of credit to Sorrell because earlier he was in a, again, a bad situation where he could have got pounded. And he did a good job in keeping Lamer's arms tied up where he couldn't get a lot of ground and pound. And, and, and then with the guillotine, he was able to pop out of it. And I don't know if he would have had enough time to finish. I don't know how deep that was. But he still popped out of it. So, so what we've seen so far in that first round is Sorrell pretty good defensively. And, and Lamer's got some pretty good technique as well. These are two guys, folks, making their amateur debuts. Yeah, they look very, very seasoned in there. A good solid first round for Lamer. See what Sorrell can do offensively here in round two. And here we go. Two touch gloves. Sorrell starts with the kick. Good right from Sorrell. Sorrell needs to get out of that. He needs to get out of that. He's in trouble. Oh, he got taken down with an arm triangle. Now he's in, in an arm triangle. Nothing he could do. His only saving grace right now is, well, he's out of it now, but he had his Jeff, or he had uh, Jeff Lamar, uh, Lamer's leg locked up. What did he do to walk into that? Man, he just looked like Lamer kind of ducked under one of his punches and just ended up and just kind of cinched around his neck and locked it up. Most of the action right now happening across from us. And Lamer would love to get this thing into full guard and just rain, uh, rain the ground and pound. But again, it's, it's a similar situation here. He's tied up. Sorrell's a pretty good defensive fighter, at least what we've seen so far. And again, Jason Wilkerson right on top of these two. He'll make sure they're active. If, if they're not, that'll be it. He'll stand them up. Stand them up. Start it over. Tell you what, full mount for Lamer. There it is. And Sorrell's trying to buck him off him. Trying to hold down those arms of Sorrell and rain some, <laughs> some punches. There we go. He got not, a few through. Not getting some big ones right here, but they're good enough. Nice. Good hip control by Lamer. Just kind of sitting on him. What he needs to do right now is push on his face. Push on Chris Sorrell's face. Get some distance, posture up, and bring it down. There it is a little bit now to the side, and now he has his back. He's going to have to sneak those hooks in, or he's not going to be able to stay up there. There we go. He got that one through. Now he'll try to choke. Nope, he's going to slip right off. That's what he needed the hooks now for. Now he's got the leg in there. Switch it to an R bar. I don't think he's going to get it, though. Sorrell's. Coming out the back door. Boy, he has that arm tangled. Yeah. Sorrell slipping through, though, again. It's really not much. Just kind of holding it there. Now Sorrell. This fight looked like it may go all three rounds. Well, it's interesting. Lamer, Lamer's, uh, he's tried a couple of things on Sorrell. Sorrell has uh, fought it off so far. Now Sorrell trying to get on the offensive for the first time really in this fight. Couple of shots from Sorrell. Now some hammer fists. Again, not a lot of pop behind those. Nice. Lamer got out of that. Both men pretty tired. These are some big boys. Husky gentlemen in there at the cage. Fighting again at a catch weight of 195. <laughs> Final seconds here in round number two. And we are going to go to a third and decisive round. So your analysis through two. Man, this is hard. I think uh, Jeff Lamer has been more of the aggressor throughout the whole fight. He's been in the, the better positions throughout the whole fight. So right now I'd have him up. 2-0, actually. Lamer again out of Memphis Judo and Jiu-Jitsu with Jason McDonald, Nathan Pang, Joel Gingery, of course Dave Ferguson, and the whole gang at Memphis Judo and Jiu-Jitsu. Chris Sorrell with Team Redemption out of Hot Springs, Arkansas. Bill Barton and Bob Edmonds. Each of these fighters in their pro debut getting a nice talking to from their corners. What do you expect here in round number three? Right now, I think you're right. So far, it looks like Lamer's got the better. But again, you go to the judges' scorecards, you never know how they see a fight. You want to end this thing before it has to go to scorecards. If I was Lamer's coaches, I'd be, be to say the same thing. 10-0.
Take him down. Get a good takedown. Make sure it's good. Impress the judges. Wow him. You should have this fight wrapped up if you do that. What Chris needs to do, he needs to do something very impressive right now. Get some big punches in. He hasn't landed any solid strikes yet. Not That's what he needs to do. Round three. Here we go. The decisive third round in this catchweight 195-pound battle. Sorrell and Lamer. He almost had that same takedown that exactly. he had in the second. Right. And almost about the same time early in the round. He should take him right down here. little ankle pick. Again, right now, Sorrell. All Chris really needs to do is plant that right leg and take that left leg and step behind him. And he should be a lot better positioned than he is right now. He's got himself into a, a precarious situation an awful lot in this fight. But, again, a lot of that is credit to Lamer. Okay, he go, slipped got, out of it. Again, he's done that a lot so yeah, far in this fight. Chris Sorrell has got one underhook. He needs to get two underhooks on him. Good knee uh. from Lamer. He was set right up for that knee. Big Another knee coming one. in. Let's see if Lamer goes for a big takedown here. Lager, Lamer's going to get this takedown. He's going to get. Oh, you. Woo. He had that double underhook locked up. Sorrell again. Get good maneuvering from his legs. You got to remember, these guys are tired. They're not. Oh, Chris Sorrell with the takedown. Well, Sorrell probably knows he has to. End this thing here because if it goes to the cards, he probably is not going to get the decision. Two. Yeah. And again, we, we talk about Sorrell's 33 years of age. He's looked pretty darn good for his debut. I think Lamer has a lot of skills. Look, Sorrell got the uh, the arms free a little bit, trying a little ground and pound here, and Lamer now has to cover up. How about this? I think Lamer's just really tired right now. That kind of made him mad, but he might expend too much energy right here well, trying to get out. Who cares if you make him mad? You better do something. At least Sorrell's trying to do something right now. Exactly. Yep, he just tried to do too much. Yeah, he tried to get the uh, choke there, and Lamer was able to slip right out of it now. He gives up his back. Lamer needs to get those hooks in before he can really do anything. Last time we saw he tried to put in that choke early and flipped right off the top of him. You made a point about the guillotine was late in that second round because you didn't want to give the guy time. Now you have plenty of time. If he can get those, if he can get that arm in there deep, it's it's going to be over. But again, Sorrell has been very impressive in how he's been able to get out of everything. Yeah. He has been pretty slippery at this point, pretty resilient. Uh, Sorrell needs to take that left leg and just kick it. There it is. Oh. There it is. Got him it with was, the rear naked. Yeah, it was hard to tell how deep it was in. Jason Wilkerson came around to the other side because he could not see it. And then you saw the submission, the tap out by Chris Sorrell. But really a good effort by Chris Sorrell in his debut. Again, a 33-year-old who showed me an awful lot. But Jeff Lamer's got some skills. And again, folks, he's going to be joining the Army. He's going to be going back to school. He's transferred to the University of Memphis. Got a bright future in whatever he does. So this one does not go to the cards. Rear naked choke is the way Jeff Lamer wins in his debut. Let's now go to Michael Kelly, get the official time. And now Rick McCracken will talk to our winner, Jeff Lamer. Great showing by the 21-year-old in his debut. I'm here with the winner tonight in a spectacular performance from Jeff Lamer. Man, that was a great fight. That was a little back and forth at first there, wasn't it? Yeah, I know. I control this. Well, I'll tell you what, when you're in a fight like that, and it's a dog fight back and forth, you know, I'll follow you. You know, it's a dog fight back and forth, you get really tired. You look like you're gassed out in that third. Yeah, I was ready for uh, a <laughs> All right, man. 
Well, I'll tell you what, anything else you want to say to the crowd real quick? All right, this is a very tired young man on his way tonight, Jeff Lamer.